Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Average Joe Watch Reviews, where we do more than just reviews. Today I have three Casio G-Shocks, and these aren't just any G-Shocks, these are the Casio Oaks sent in to us by one of my true and loyal subscribers, Clam Walker, also known as DP Walker. Uh, I want to thank him and his awesome son, Lucian, for sending these in for review. I really do appreciate it, so... Uh, this is my first experience with the Casio Oak, so I'm excited to dive in, so let's do so. All right, so let's dive into the first case. What's behind case number one? We've got ourselves the Blackout Oak G-Shock. And this is a beauty. I'm really liking this. What's this measuring in at? Let's take a look, shall we? So we're looking at a case diameter of at right around 45 millimeters. And thickness, we're looking at 12 millimeters thickness. And our lug to lug, which is just kind of an integrated case, but we'll just go end of the case, end of the case here. And we're looking at a 48 millimeter. So uh, 45 is usually pretty big for the wrist, but um, with G-Shocks, these are pretty, you know, they're usually pretty much on the large size anyway. And this one does actually doesn't look that, that large at all. Um, so what we'll do is we'll throw it on my 7-inch wrist. Today I'm sporting the Seiko Recraft, done in the brown sunburst dial, gold indices, gold logo, gold surrounding the uh, day date, just a beautiful watch love the brushing on the bezel itself uh just just really nice and a special gift from my baby daughter baby madison for my first father's day so this is definitely definitely a sentimental piece that has more value than you will ever know so we'll switch that out for the casio oak and this is my first time trying one of these on um I really have had very little experience with G-Shocks, and uh, as I suspected, this actually doesn't fit very large on the wrist. I mean, I have a 7-inch wrist, and as you can see, um, it actually fits very, very nicely. Let's check out the next piece, shall we? And yes, we have ourselves another Casio Oak G-Shock. And this one is military style. We compare the two together and we can see very, very similar, but I would very much like to see the loom between the two. So we will definitely take a loom shot before we go. Um, so you definitely want to stay tuned. Um, noticeable differences are the indices are actually a different color as opposed to everything here is pretty much black. Even the, uh, what looks like could be loom is definitely darkened. Uh, the date indicator, the um, the arrow there, that's definitely done differently. Um, as you can see there. But definitely the same watch. But just, you've got G-Shock written in orange. You've got the camo as the bezel. But yeah, very much the same watch indeed. Um, and they're both carbon core guard. Let's take a look at that. Carbon core guard. This one as well. Carbon core guard. Japanese movement. And this one is 20 bar water resistance. So um, same, same exact size and everything. So. Very, very cool. And we'll take a look at the third Casio that was sent into the channel. Okay, what's behind case number three? It is the Casio Oak. Look at this one. So this is a modified version of 
something that would look like this. It doesn't necessarily have to be the the military one, but um, definitely has the same dial for sure. It's amazing, this kit. Um, wow, this is really nice, guys. I've heard about these kits before, and you can even see the original uh, case back here that's actually sandwiched in here. It's pretty cool. So really, essentially, this is the original back, and it just fits in with these four screws, and you get the entire kit. And take a look at this on the, on the wrist. And you know what, guys? Uh, check out my video down below. I'm actually going to show you how to build your own Casio Oak for under $200. Um, and it's actually from a company, MFG. And they give you all the tools that you need. Screwdrivers and everything. Here's some extra links here. But, I mean, it comes with the bracelet and the full metal jacket. So, definitely uh, check out my link below where I show you how to build your very own Casio Oak. So, definitely a cool, cool watch. Um, really, really digging this bracelet, how it plays with the light. I mean, it's like a, look at that. Look how it just plays with the light. It's like a, it's like a musical. You could play music with it and it's just, it's very, very mesmerizing. Very nicely done. Feels like quality. Very comfortable. Um, you know what? I'm going to do a weight on these to show you the difference between the weight on a full metal jacket versus the weight on the regular blackout version. So let's check that out right now. That way. And we go this way. Check that out. I feel like it was made for my wrist. Look at the way every single link glimmers in the light. I mean, you want to talk about a light catcher? Holy smokes! Look at that. It's like a, it's like a musical. I mean, it's 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 really really plays off the light very nicely, and this this case done in full metal. Wow! Look at the brushing on that too. This is done extremely, extremely nicely. All right, so the first weight we'll take is of the Cassioke Blackout. And we're gonna get right at two ounces. And then we're gonna do the Cassioke Full Metal Jacket conversion. And that's gonna come in at right around five ounces, guys. So. Two ounces versus five ounces. So you're definitely more than doubling your weight with the full metal conversion. How are you going to do with size? Well, let's take a look and see whether or not there's a huge size difference. And we'll do the full metal jacket. Do it the same exact way. This one's measuring at 44. So a, and actually a full millimeter uh, less in case diameter there. And this one's actually measuring in at a 13, so a little bit thicker, okay? Um, when we look at the top of the case to top of the case, we're looking at a 50 millimeter versus, versus a 48. So you're getting a little bit smaller there. So bigger here, smaller here in comparison to the Cassioke. Thinner, about a millimeter thicker. Very interesting. So again, I want to thank DP Walker and Lucian for sending these in for review. I want to thank you so much for sending these in. Um, these are really awesome watches and uh, really had a good time with them. So I want to thank you once again for doing that. And remember that there's always time to be kind to one another. Please take care of each other and I'll see you guys next time on... Average Joe Watch Reviews. God bless, my friends.